Hey, this is Brian Rogers from the BBK R&D and Technical Support Department to show you how easy it is to install extra horsepower, torque, and much needed throttle response to your 2010 Mustang GT with our 1763 throttle body. 1763 is a twin 62 millimeter unit that fits all 2005 to 2010 Mustang GTs. To get started, turn the key to the on position and use a digital voltmeter to read the output voltage of the throttle position sensor. You want to make note of the voltage so we can reference it when installing the BBK throttle body. The voltage here is 1.23. Disconnect the PCV tube and loosen the hose clamps on the air inlet hose. Pull the inlet hose away from the throttle body and unplug the throttle body connectors. Using a 10 mm socket and an 8 mm socket, remove the nuts on the bottom of the throttle body and the studs on the top. Simply pull the throttle body away from the intake manifold and on a bench we'll go ahead and pull the TPS off and put that right onto the BBK throttle body without twisting. Notice how the alignment tab sticks into the casting hole. Now remove the T20 torque screws that hold the electric motor housing onto the stock throttle body, but do not remove the Phillips head screws that hold the electric motor to the housing. You can leave those in. Pull the electric motor housing off, but be careful because there is a wound spring inside. Pop the removable cap out using some sort of tool and inspect the spring. Make sure you realize that there are tabs on the spring. Place the spring onto the shaft of the BBK throttle body and be sure to get a good connection between the hook and the hole in the gear. Take note of the 2.5 millimeter Allen headed set screw that stabs into the side of the brass plunger. Place the electric motor housing over the BBK throttle body and temporarily secure it using one or two screws. We will be removing this in a few steps. The next step is very important and it's often overlooked. So please take special note and follow as shown. Using a screwdriver, rotate the top of the plastic cap spring counterclockwise until the tabs on the cap pop up into the corresponding landing holes in the electric motor cover. To make sure that you've got this process done properly, simply open and close the throttle blades by hand, and if the throttle body closes by itself, you've got it dialed in. Place the partially assembled BBK throttle body over the studs of the intake manifold and re-establish the electrical connections. Turn the key to the on position once again and test the throttle position sensor output voltage with your digital voltmeter. As you can see here, this is a little bit higher than it was when we initially tested the stock unit. So let's remove the electric motor cover once again and we'll go ahead and correct this using the following steps. Using a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, loosen the set screw that stabs into the side of the brass threaded plunger. Now you'll reinstall the electric motor housing and rewind the plastic cap spring as shown before. With the electric motor housing back on the BBK throttle body, the plastic cap spring wound and locked into position, and the electrical connection re-established, turn the key back to the on position and retest your TPS voltage. Now you can easily adjust your TPS output voltage by simply turning the brass plunger up or down to match whatever your baseline setting was. We'll go ahead and set it to 1.23 just like our stock throttle body showed us. With the TPS voltage dialed in, you can go ahead and tighten that Allen headed set screw, do the final assembly of the throttle body using all of the T20 Torx screws, and don't forget to wind that plastic cap spring up and lock it into position. Now you can install the plastic dust cover that you knocked off in the earlier step. Place the BBK throttle body over the studs in the intake manifold, Use the two BBK supplied socket head cap screws to fix the top of the throttle body and use the factory hardware on the bottom to affix to the studs coming out of the intake. Install and tighten your air inlet hose. 
and reconnect your PCV tube. Let's go ahead and take it for a test drive on the dyno and see how it does. There you have it, the BBK Twin 62mm 1763 throttle body makes excellent horsepower and torque improvements over stock on your 2010 Mustang GT. With a suggested retail price of $299.99, this unit offers great bang for the buck. For more information on this or any of the hundreds of parts that BBK makes for late model cars and trucks, check out BBKPerformance.com where you can search for parts directly for your vehicle or search by product category. At BBKPerformance.com you can also watch fun and informative product detail and installation videos or download instruction sheets. If you're looking for a local distributor in your area, you can find that on our website too with our dealer locator. BBKPerformance.com even has a library of magazine articles from years of independent testing for you to review. And while you're there, don't forget to check out the BBK homepage and blog to see what's new. Thanks for watching.